Hey guys, this is Janice and welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do a little, <clears throat> excuse me, a little haul quick video to show you some of the items I will be having in upcoming sales. As of right now, I have five or six sales set up with myself and Black Dog Vintage and Antiques and a few special guests um, for the rest of the month. They're mainly going to be on Tuesday and Sundays, but this right here is going to go in a Halloween sale um, that we are doing with um, Tammy over at Vintage Uprising Texas. So this will be the star of the show for the items that I have. Look at that. I shocked whenever I found him and even more shocked that he is in great condition. Um, he is missing, or is it his light and stuff, but, but that's easy. That's, that's something simple. So if someone's been looking for that, be sure to, um, hit notifications. So, you know, whenever I am live and also, um, follow Tammy and also follow Nikki. Another item I found was this cool tray with the lighthouses on it. It doesn't look like it had um, any sticker or any kind of a marking on it, but I just thought it looked really cool. So that will be for offer. This is not vintage, but look at the eyes. I mean, it's just a cute little mug. The ears are all intact. There's nothing wrong with it. So I'm gonna have that in an Easter sale. I'm also going to hold this back for a Christmas sale because it is just gorgeous. How pretty would this be on your side table with just some nuts in it? And it has a little bit of weight. I could not find a maker's mark on here, but it is very pretty. Um, I found this cookie mold and I just bought it for nostalgia reasons. Um, just because I remember us having some of these. Um, it looks like these were made in 86 but heavy and I thought it would be super cute. Um, I'm also going to put this cup in a, there's no maker's mark on it. I'm also gonna put this in um, a Halloween slash fall sale. I just loved the owls on there. And at the same store, I found these. Um, it's, they say Roaring Twenties and inside it has, like if you look through there, bam, Mary Pickford. I mean, have you ever seen these? If you look through there, Harold Lloyd, and I have two of them and they're both different. So this has uh, Lionel Barrymore. Oh, that was Drew Barrymore's dad. I know that. Roaring Twenties, Buster Keaton. Anyway, I just thought these are real cool barware um, that if you are um, collecting, that these would be super cool. I also found a pie bird in the box. Yes, so he is gonna go in a um, Halloween slash fall sale. And I also found it's in the box. The box has some issues. It looks like maybe it was tried to be opened right here, but it is the end, the Thai Beanie Baby, the end bear. He is perfect. So even on the back, boxes a little but I mean these when did these end like 1999 I think so anyway picked him up thought he was cute next is this um Santa pitcher I do believe this is a hobbyist piece um maybe not oh maybe not so those are actually stamped but anyway I just thought he was super cute to be put into a um, Christmas display, or you could use them as a vase. You could put um, your eggnog in here. It's a really nice piece. Um, I also found this bubble glass, little cute bud vase. Um, no markings on it at all. I just thought it was really pretty and I didn't want to leave it behind, so I got it. Um, the next item, and I'm thinking about putting this just because it's black and silver, it is a finial. It is supposed to be a tree topper, I'm sure. I don't think it's shiny bright or anything like that, but um, I do think it would be cool in a Halloween display. Just something extra to put in there. So speaking of Halloween, I do have a honeycomb pumpkin. 
um, and it is old. I mean, just look at the the little clips on it. So I kind of don't want to take it out of the package until I'm I'm ready to sell him. But very cute. Um, the next item I have is some ephemera, and this is mostly like Christmas stuff. But let me open it because there is one in here that just took my breath away. Let's see, sorry. Probably should have opened that before I started filming, huh? Okay, so this is a large, large lot. So we have cards, more cards. This looks like a little coaster, paper, little paper napkin, bunch of stamps. Thinking of you for Christmas. This is a postcard. Um, let me just go through. I thought this one was kind of pretty. Great colors on them. Um, some stickers. Let's see. This. Look at this. Oh, it is so pretty. That's the reason why I bought this. Just love it. Uh, Christmas jokes and riddles. Oh, holy night. Reindeer greetings. Look like it's got some games. This looks like pieces of um, wrapping paper, stickers. Look at all these stamps. I mean, cute. Okay. So I will. I'll be offering those. Um, um, we actually have a sale with Jody Renshaw, and we is always Nikki with Black Dog Vintage and Antiques. <laughs> um, we are going to have a sale with Miss Jody Renshaw, and it's just going to be an ephemera sale. So I may throw those in there um, just to see if we have any interest. Sorry, I'm trying to open up this package because. These are going to go in a Halloween sale, and they are vintage um, treat bags. Cute. Aww. The treat. Oh, look at the pumpkins. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. So, I will have, be having those in a Halloween sale, um, which will be on Tammy's channel, but oh, those are so pretty. Fun world. Those are pretty. Alrighty, guys. Well, that is it for these few items. I do, look at him. I gotta, I gotta keep going back to him. Love him. Okay, so um, I am going to put up another video um, probably next week because I did get a, bought a lot of jewelry. So they're all brooches. Um, I think I have 40 or 50 pieces. I probably won't go through them all, but I will show a good variety of them and um, at least let you get an idea of what I got. So I will... Go ahead and end this video. We are having a sale Sunday with myself, Black Dog Vintage and Antiques, and Claudia. So join us um, on Sunday at noon. See you then. Bye.